All right, so we're back out to this one today to replace it with a Hunter XC hybrid controller. So it's more user friendly for the customer. We're gonna start by removing the light controller and all of the light solenoids in the valves here to replace them with Rainbird T-Boss 9 volt solenoids and a Hunter, like I said, XC hybrid controller. We're gonna have to use that inch and a half post or reuse the inch and a half post to mount our controller. Our new controller will be slightly lower than this controller, which we'll put it down here. It's okay. It's out in the middle of the green space, so low profile is good. We are gonna leave the rain sensor right where it's at. And we're actually going to add a couple of brackets on there so that we can mount the new controller. I'm gonna get my 10 by 10 tent set up so that I don't have to do this under the sun and get going on it. Removing this controller off the pole isn't gonna be very hard. We're gonna to have to remove all of the wires and then this one flathead screw, which I've already loosened and you can see it's already loose. So we just gotta get the wires taken out and then we can pull the controller off the post and then we'll have to pull the wires out of the post because the post is just gonna be a mounting post when we're done. This might just be a personal opinion, but I'm not a fan of these tiny little flathead screws that I gotta use an adjustment screwdriver like this to loosen, but it is what it is, it's going away. With all of the wires loose, we should be able to just take this right off the post. Just like that, simple. Simple install too, if I'm being honest, but again, not very user-friendly. Let's go remove these wires out of this post and prepare this post for the new controller, which is in my truck. It's safe to say the wires are gone. Pull them right out, there they are. They came out the bottom of the uh, elbow that comes out the bottom there. We got the rain sensor wires and all of the zone wires. We're going to run those wires right back up a brand new conduit that will go into the controller on the outside of this post. This post will no longer be used for the conduit of the wires, it's just a mounting post and it's a solid mounting post because it's in concrete down there, so it's perfect. Let's go ahead and get the mounting brackets on here for the controller. And here we are with the mounting brackets, ready to go. I even put that screw in at the top so that I can hang the controller and make sure that my bottom bracket is going to work out. You can see that you can't see through those holes because I'm gonna use them to drill some self-tapping screws. We'll get that done, and then the controller will be mounted on the pole. And then we can work on getting the wires into the controller and swapping out the solenoids for the proper solenoids. All right, with all three of those screws in there, this puppy isn't going anywhere. I couldn't rip this off the pole if I wanted to. Beautiful. All right, we got to gouge out this hole a little bit because I'm using three quarter inch conduit and this comes with a half inch conduit. So I'm going to have to find a little bit bigger of a bit than this. Or not, we just swallow this out a little bit. Is it perfect? Yep. Works just right. All right, just gotta get a lock nut on there and the conduit. I know that looked a little rough, but if you look closely, that's a three quarter inch conduit or mail adapter and it fits nice. I didn't ruin it. And here it is with all the wires pulled through the conduit, nice and clean looking. We're just gonna have to wire these up to the ports here. We're gonna replace this battery cage here with the solar panel pack and then attach the solar panel. Let's do all that. With it all wired in beautifully and all five solenoids installed accordingly, we are ready to install the solar panel kit. This is actually a pretty simple installation. There was a battery box here. I disconnected it, which left us this nine volt connector here. We're gonna take the nine volt connector off of the supplied battery pack here and connect it one handed because I have to hold a camera with my other hand because that's just how I do things. And I know you're gonna comment and be like, Justin, you could have got that done much quicker with one hand. And you know what, you're right. All right, now that that's connected, we can fish this back up into here. And maybe while I use two hands, I might be able to get this in there a little bit better. I'm gonna use two hands because I don't think this is gonna work out in my advantage. Probably should have installed this before I did the wires, huh? And after a little finagling, we got it in. Now all that's left to do is mount the actual solar panel itself to the controller and wire it to these two wires right here. All right, we are done with the install process. I wanna point something out. When you go to install one of these controllers, you're not gonna see the display light up immediately. You're gonna to need to move this knob one or two places and it'll show the display. We have it programmed for all five zones. All five solenoids were replaced with brand new Rainbird latching solenoids. And this system is now up and running. We can go ahead and show you zone two because it's right in front of the truck and it will turn on. Look at that. 
Now that is what I call a user-friendly controller. All right, on to the next one.